Stadium. Time to target 30 seconds. Copy. All shadows, this net. Listen up. In the last 24. Legion's intercepted comms traffic coming from the stadium. The source of that chatter may be Victor Zakaev himself. We roll this bastard up. There'll be bonuses all around. Stand by. Alerts to Rose. You ready to start this fire? Always. You know that. That's what I like to hear. How about some fireworks? <laughs> Wait till you hear this. Use the slit. Let's let ourselves in. Copy. What's up gamers, I hope you're all doing amazing and welcome to today's video. Today we'll be taking a look at everything you need to know for Season 5 in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. First of all, the update was around 54GB for PC and around 36GB for consoles. So I hope you all have managed to download the update and you are back in action. So Season 5 has a whole bunch of new content added. We for instance have a new faction called Shadow Company. They were initially formed to fight back against the new Alcatala and their benefactor Mr. Z, also known as Zakaev. Shadow Company operates outside the boundaries of the original Armistice. They have their own framework and agenda. Shadow Company are all allegiance operators that grew impatient with the coalition progress and that's why they created their own group. The stadium in Warzone is also opened and in itself has also a bunch of new content to explore. Things like the new easter egg to unlock a legendary blueprint, juggernaut, as well as a specialist bonus that drop in secret rooms that need key cards to be accessed. Stadium is a whole new place to explore in Warzone itself. There's also a loot train running through Verdansk every game. I personally like the new content added in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. It's a nice breath of fresh air, so let's take a closer look at the new content added into Modern Warfare. Taking a look at the battle pass, it seems like the whole theme for the battle pass is skulls. All the emblems, weapon stickers and calling cards have some sort of skull within them which looks pretty cool. This also ties in with the officer rank challenges which reward you skull emblems when you start completing them. They do look super cool so I'll definitely be grinding them. There are also two new weapons to unlock in the battle pass on tier 15 and tier 31. On tier 15, the ISO can be unlocked, which is a fast fire rate SMG very similar to the Fennec. On tier 31, the AN-94 can be unlocked, which is an assault rifle. This rifle has a two round burst mechanism built into it if you tap the trigger. The two new weapons are both great at both long and short ranges respectively, and it would be nice if one of these weapons would become the new meta in Warzone. On tier 22, we get a new type of execution. This execution uses a crow to poke out the eyes of your enemy. Then lastly, on tier 100 we get a super cool skin for Rose called Rook. This is an all black skin which looks super cool. The skin comes with two other variants that can be unlocked by doing challenges once you unlock the skin. We also receive the new melee weapon called Dual Kadashis. To unlock this you'll need to kill 3 enemies from behind in 15 different matches. Or you can buy them from the store in the Samurai pack. The Kadashis itself is a one-shot weapon, although they do slow your movement speed quite a bit. Another notable feature that gets unlocked in the battle pass is music that plays when you are driving around in a vehicle. It's a small feature but a cool one. You can switch the music off while driving if you choose so. I got it. We also received three new maps. Two normal multiplayer maps and one gunfight map. I'm just going to take a look at the two new multiplayer maps. The first map is called Petrov Olerig. I'm not sure why we got a random map like this, but it is definitely a fun new map. It looks like a traditional three lane map with several choke points which if held properly will give you a bunch of kills.
The second map we are taking a look at is called Harbour. Now this is not your traditional 3 lane map. This map however has a lot of hiding spots and choke points, making the fight to control the choke points quite fun. If you manage to control the choke points, you can get easy high kill games. So in Warzone, like I've mentioned, the stadium was open. Shadow Company dropped in and just blew up the roof of the stadium, revealing a whole new area in Verdansk to explore. The stadium has three different levels, the parking level, middle or ground floor, and then the top or executive level. Each of these levels of stadium you can find a whole bunch of loot. There's also an easter egg that you can complete in stadium, that once completed will reward you with a legendary blueprint for the CR AMAX assault rifle. If you can manage to do the easter egg in a battle royale or plunder match, you will be set up with a bunch of high tier loot such as juggernauts, specialist bonuses and even a gold mask that will allow you to survive in the gas a lot longer. I'll be posting a video soon on how to complete the stadium easter egg, so stay tuned for that. Another addition that we got in Warzone was a loot train that travels around for dance every game. If you manage to drop on the loot train off spawn, you are greeted with a whole bunch of legendary crates as well as an ammo refill point. The train just wanders around with no real function but to refill ammo. The train can also not be stopped no matter what you try. Other than the stadium and train additions into Warzone, not much else was added. There's a new updated interior in train station as well as exterior ascenders around the map making it possible to scale buildings from the outside. Taking a look at the Season 5 roadmap, we can expect a few modes being added into multiplayer, a new mode added into Warzone, a new operator called Vilikan, and then new weapons. Apparently we can expect a new sniper in the mid-season update. But unfortunately, we'll just have to wait for the mid-season update to see what new weapons we will get. We can also see on the roadmap that there will be a mid-season event. Honestly, I don't want to say this is going to be an in-game event that will change the map. But that would honestly be super cool. I personally think that this might be a big Warzone tournament. But once again, we'll have to wait to see what the event will be. Well that's all I have for you guys today, if you enjoyed the video please drop a like and subscribe to my channel to get notifications for when I upload new videos. Also let me know in the comments below what you think of season 5 so far. Until next time, happy gaming.